Frugal friends, welcome back. As promised, we are going to give you a closer look at all the things we found this last weekend and also go through some of the mystery bags and boxes and show you what is in them. Let's go ahead and jump in with this fabulous set of drawers. There's a towel, 10 pence, scissors. Oh, look at this. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's gorgeous. Oh no. Beautiful necklace. Another little pin. Look how pretty that is. Fun bracelet. We'll definitely look into all of this because some of it is some pretty good old, um, you know, kind of costume jewelry. Uh, these things will sell. Not, this is not a fortune, but they will sell. Some of this though, I really want to keep like this. I absolutely want to keep that. That's, geez, that's gorgeous. A pair of glasses, a knife, an old check, a little clip on earring. It's in pretty rough shape. Another little pin, necklace. I don't want to open. There we go. Oh, this would match that earring, that clip-on earring. Some faux pearls. A little beaded necklace. Pendant. It's really pretty. Some more faux pearls. And these ones. Oh, those are beautiful. We'll have to make some tough choices which ones we want to keep and what we want to put probably in the yard sale. Those are delightful. Then there are these gems in here and they go to this gorgeous piece. Yes, this one I'm keeping. Oh my goodness. That is, well, that's beautiful. And can you imagine it with the gems all put back on? I'm so in love. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, then, little truck. There's the marbles that we were able to get out with the net. This fabulous book, the textures and all of this, they are just lovely. Fun adventure book. Nice basket. I think I've got this upside down. Oh, it is heavy. Okay, so we've got country samplers. Joy of Christmas, fall holidays, tiny trinkets, boutique, simply spring and summer. Uh, watch me grow, so lots of like toll painting and stuff. My mom is really good at that. Ah, Flora Craft, Fast and Easy Lace, that's really cute, Crafts and Things, Country Style, Country Home, Beaded Christmas, look how pretty, oh my goodness, those are gorgeous, Crafts and Things, Crafts and Things, so a whole bunch of great crafting magazines and books, which will most likely sell online tons of them like oh my goodness tons of them Ugh. let's kind of move this over but i'm pretty sure that that's what all is in here uh beehive state favorites oh this is for making cabinets like kitchen cabinets that's pretty cool and we've got more of these crafty, like, toll painting, step-by-step um, -step wood carving. There's something. Looks like a Shopkins, probably. Anyway, tons of fabulous craft books. We will get those listed when we finally get to working on our eBay stuff again. I 
excited to open up this and see these pillows. So glad they were in a bag. How cool is that? A scholarly pace, Norman Rockwell. That's fantastic. And this one, oh, it's the self-portrait. Yep, triple self-portrait. That's so cool. I went to an exhibit here in Utah oh, a couple years ago of all of his paintings and magazine covers and book covers, all kinds of things like that. We had a really neat opportunity to go to that exhibit. Really cool. All right, so we'll keep this washcloth too. Pottery Barn washcloth. And then there's a skirt. We will wash that and put it in the yard sale. There's a tote. Some kind of, this is a really pretty cover. The Knight and the Squire. Oh, it, wait, is that Mana La Mancha? Because it said Don Quixote. Um, yeah, Sancho. This is Don Quixote. It's just in a really awesome, fun cover. That's gorgeous. Ah, yeah, Mana La Mancha. Okay, very cool. Uh, the Shy Little Kitten. Whirlwind. Thunder cover. First watch. These are like primers, you know, um, early learning from back in the day. Bobsy Twins. Annie. Danger, love ahead. Wow, check that outfit. On my way, Sesame Street. The big little dinosaur. Morning Star. Um, and with most of these, what we'll do, like I said, is just get them to the book donation box because it's just down the road. Um, seven white, or seven white, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Nice little tablet cover. Precious Moments, Drake's Tail, uh, Antelope, a Navajo Indian Boy, Magic School Bus, McBroom's Zoo, some coloring books, The Nutcracker, The EF Book, For the Love of Benji, Pigeons, Feathers, and Other Stories, John Updike. Definitely going to be reading that one. Ivanhoe. Storyworks. How to Father. Okay. The Children Who Stayed Alone. The Secret of Thunder Mountain. Goodbye Doesn't Mean Forever. My Girl. Danny Dunn and the Anti-Gravity Paint. Assault on a Queen. We've got William Faulkner's The Hamlet. I'm going to read that one. And now you two are one. All right, let me get these cleared up. I'm actually going to right away just go ahead and put these together in the box and take them uh, to the van, back to the van, so that they can go over to the book drop. There is a football helmet. A nice divider thing for like mail, bills, stuff like that. We've got some beautiful frames. There's a couple more. The rope. A zebra pillow pet. Protege laptop case. I really like that. I actually might use that for my laptop. Uh, we've got two of these walking casts, probably sell those. This one looks like it's for kids. Cute little basket, munchkin basket. This fabulous suitcase. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh, a rubber band. Really, really nice. Oh, just kidding. Um... Oh, I think this is what, it's just like the tags and stuff that came with it. Let's see how much they paid. Estee Lauder. Um, holy, wow. You seeing these prices, you guys? 
So which one, which one is this? It's one of them. Um, well, bare minimum, it's $110 <laughs> for this suitcase. That's crazy, but that's really cool. Desley, Desley, that's what that says. Really cool that we get to see uh, the price on that, how much they paid. So that is super cool. Wow, that's expensive. Okay. It definitely has had some use, but it's still in fantastic condition. We don't buy suitcases anymore because I always find what we need in the bins and we are getting to the point now where we are needing more suitcases i've sold a bunch in like yard sales and things before but we're starting to need them again because our family has grown and so their clothes get bigger and take up more room so this is absolutely perfect as is this fabulous rolling duffel bag by north face I've looked through the pockets, there's nothing in them, but what I wanna show you guys is how gorgeous it looks inside. Look at that, it's like brand new inside. Still has even the little gel pack, the whatever those are called. Look at that, gorgeous. I Seriously, I'm wondering if they ever even used it. It has a little mark on the outside, but guys, that's from being in the dumpster. I don't think this was even used. It just, it doesn't even look like it at all. So, did I check this pocket? Um, an extra cord or cord strap of some kind. Yeah, it's like brand new. We could absolutely sell that. I'm sure it'd be worth a decent penny, but no, we, we love to travel. That's why we dumpster dive. That's why we do YouTube. That's why we fought to rebuild as we are doing when um, after our channel was hacked a couple weeks ago because this is, this is what we do in order to do this, you know, to travel, to see the world. So we are absolutely going to keep that. I want to know, what I want to know is if this will qualify as a carry-on. Hmm. I'll have to look it up and measure it because if so, that will be super duper handy. Is it? We have all the Texas Instruments uh, books I and CD-ROMs. There's, okay, just a sec. There's a bunch more right there. We're not going to eat the candy out of that, Mimi. We're not. That's way old. No, nope, we're not going to. But a whole bunch of Easter eggs. And then a Lego tote. Yeah. It's empty, but do you know, 2006, I'm actually going to look this up and see if it has resale value. Otherwise, we will keep it for ourselves, for our Legos. You know, we love Lego. Oh, my goodness. We've got this outside in for windows, the floppy disks and the books. The other one is in here somewhere. We've got... This really cute little Minions, looks almost brand new, Minions lunchbox, a Razor helmet. Can I wear that? Mister? Well, we've got to clean it. We've got to clean it first. We've got a football helmet. It doesn't fit me, so it won't fit anyone. A little strap. Some more gorgeous frames. That one is just, oh, that's so beautiful. I already showed that. Thank you. This really pretty frame. We did great on frames. I'm gonna have so many for the yard sale. I kind of want to keep that one though. Next, we have a mystery bag. So I'm going to open it up and dump it into this tote and we'll see what we've got. Flowers. Cute little bag. I think maybe it's for like wipes or diapers or something. Some discs. A Barbie. She is 1999, the year I graduated high school. An Eddie Bauer um, baby mirror that you put so you can see your baby in the back. This goes in a stroller, or not a stroller. Well, it can go in a stroller, but in a, in a baby carrier. Same with this one. Hey, I have, oh my gosh, memories. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. These same, oh my gosh. These are the same um, thank you notes that I used for at least one of my baby showers. Not the one with Reagan, because his, they were blue. But maybe it was Olivia's, maybe it was Mariah's, I don't know. But one of them, I used these same ones. Oh my gosh, that, 
Oh, memories. Oh, oh, that's just neat. That's just neat. Um, this is a changing pad. I like to change their butt. And then this is an Enfamil cooler bag. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, Mimi! <laughs> Look at that. That was meant to be. Ooh. That is meant to be. Oh, and there's more scrapbooking stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this... Let's see. Oh, the Barbie, she's... Mimi went to get clothes for Miss Barbie because she's a nudie. Okay, there you go. There's some red roses. She is pretty. I'm going to use some, some up on her. gorgeous chocolate-colored ribbon. You're going to get her all snazzed up? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then... Uh-huh. Well, it's an older one. This is all... Oh! <laughs> What? Mimi! Look! Oh, Olivia will be so happy. Bella's her favorite. Let's see. Yeah. Beautiful letters. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look, Mimi! Bunch of stencils. Um, assorted papers. You know it's Lumiere. Well, but I do also really like Cogsworth. Tons of fabulous scrapbooking yeah, paper. Know, I know. Um, scrapbooking paper, scrapbooking paper. What is this? <gasps> oh my gosh. I can use this for my dolls. No, no, no. It's not, it's not a costume. It's a sticker. It's to go in a scrapbook or um, like a shadow box. Blue and look, thing. look, there's Cogsworth. <laughs> I don't see Lumiere. He's not in here. I wonder if he was. I don't know. Oh, and look, there's the rose. The Beast's Rose. That, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, geez, that scared me for a minute. Is a <laughs> um, Is it a pigeon? That's a really great tail for a pigeon. I don't know, but that's it's fantastic. Bird. It's a clip that goes in your hair. Well, it can go in your hair or in a basket. Mom, look how good she looks. Oh, she's adorable. And those clothes are from some of the cleanouts where um, we went and picked up people's um, garbage cleanouts. A bunch of... Nice Wait, no, thick Mama, plastic these clothes, stickies. These clothes the Bunch of cards. Um, I don't think they, they were. The bag, I know, but I think that bag was from. Um... No, we found. Ooh, look at these. House, and I put all. I separated all the other things. Yeah. Okay, just a sec. Look at these. These are gorgeous. Now, They're. That those are so beautiful. Like from the Dope. Like um. From. Homer Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then another with Bell. They obviously had a thing for Bell, um, which I can absolutely understand. We've got shower rings and more letter stickers. And you guys know, oh yeah, and cards. These are some beautiful cards. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know what it goes to. I don't know if it goes to anything that we had in here. Maybe it does. We'll have to look. But these are fabulous little cards. Mom, did you show oh them my this? goodness. Yeah. It yeah. needs to be washed and it'll probably go in the yard sale. We don't have room for any more pillow pets because we already have a bunch. But anyway, you guys know we love using scrapbooking stuff and doing Mom, art and crafts. So we will absolutely be using this stuff. Oh my goodness. So fabulous. And especially like the bell and whatnot. Um, we're going to have to do a shadow box. Yeah, for sure. And like maybe have one of our pictures from Disneyland where we meet the princesses or maybe if this time we get to meet Belle and Beast, that would be amazing. Or Gaston and have like those pictures, have these roses that Mimi's pulling out. That's so perfect. Have those in a just gorgeous shadow box. And we have a couple more shadow boxes that we found in the craft store dumpsters. Look at her getting it all set up. Are you excited or something? Me too. And now the last of it. We've got some pajama pants, Nautica sleepwear, the two gorgeous bags. They are Bath and Body Works brand. Beautiful, beautiful traveling bags. What I have found though traveling is that stuff like this is very inconvenient because there's no wheels. <laughs> and so you're carrying a very large, very heavy bag. We will probably sell those. There's this really nice uh, kind of laptop bag. I think that's what it is. It's either that or a changing. Oh, it's, no, okay, so it's a diaper bag because that's a changing pad right there. What does it say? 
Oh, Eddie Bauer. So we'll probably sell that. Then look at this. Oh my goodness. Can you even? And the crazy thing is this would have gotten thrown away. It would have been thrown away because it was in a bag of toys, not clothes, not shoes. It would have just been thrown away. I mean, that doesn't even bear thinking about. It's got all kinds of little details. I mean, this has got to be some kind of collector's piece. It's it's gorgeous. It's it's metal. I don't know anything about it. I don't see any maker marks of any kind. Not a clue. But if any of you know something about this, please tell us in the comments. What it reminds me of is uh, a Christmas story, you know, with Ralphie. And when Flick gets his tongue stuck to the, the pole, the flagpole or whatever it was, and the firemen have to come, kind of reminds me of, of their, their fire truck. There is a Pop Solo Sumi um, microphone. We've got books, Pocahontas, Pinocchio, and these are the ones that we are going, well, not all of these, we're, all the ones that are Disney, we are absolutely keeping, and the little golden books we're keeping. The rest will go along with those other books that we found, and they will go to a book donation drop-off. Miko, a seminal Indian boy. So that had to be like a collection, because there were several, like, that I already showed you. So they must be some kind of collection. Uh, we've got Welcome Back Snow White, Raggedy Ann and Andy, the little gray kit, uh, kitten. We read this the other night. Uh, Treasure Trails, the magazine of the Children's Hour. We'll look it up. The Owl and the Pussycat, we read that one as well. The Wizard of Oz. My Home. Heidi, I love that story. Petey and I. The Lion King. The Black Cauldron, we read the... Blah, blah. We read this one, and then we watched the movie. Dark stuff, you guys. Holy cow. Really dark. Gus was a friendly ghost. Treasure Trails. Treasure Trails. I will absolutely look those up. Lion King. Bambi Grows Up. Treasure Trails. And Wendy's Adventure in Neverland. And then look at this. Come on. They really should take toys. I'm just saying they, well, I mean, okay, I, I shouldn't say what a, an organization should or shouldn't take. They know what they can take. They know what they can handle. Once upon a time, they used to take toys and housewares and books, but I guess they just focused in and decided that wasn't what they wanted to do anymore. And so a few years ago, several years ago, they switched to just clothing and shoes. It's a bummer because that's fantastic. That is fantastic. And that would have ended up in the garbage. That's Stitch's, what, girlfriend, sister? I can't remember. Um, do you know, I can't even remember her name at the moment. But I will put it on the screen right here. We're keeping that. That's fantastic. We will wash it and she will join our Disney-loving family. Then all of this is the stuff that Reagan was able to get out of the dumpster for me. So there are some greeting cards an old planner, some stickies, portable reinforcements, assorted colors, Utah trivia. That'll be fun to look through. Yes, I do live in Utah. There's this gorgeous plate. Look at this plate. And it's, what does it say? Not for food. It's decorative. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. There's more greeting cards, um, greeting cards, a notepad, what is this, Color, uh, colors of the sun, blank note cards, look how fun those are, oh look at those colors, <laughs> gorgeous, there's um, a file folder with some files, we will shred all that. Yeah, this had to be a family clean out where someone passed away. Uh, 40 hymns for 40 days. It's still in the plastic. Where someone passed away and they just emptied out all their stuff. I can almost guarantee that that's what happened here. Some private papers. We will shred those. Getting windy out here. Um, I don't know what these are. Assorted odds and ends. 
Oh, these, these go on the bottom of like furniture so it doesn't scuff the floor. But what about these guys? Anyone, anyone? I mean, if nothing else, that's good metal scrap right there because those are probably brass. So one way or another, they'll, they'll go on to do something. Um, Discover Daniel O'Donnell Country Classics. Soap dish. Look at this. Look how freaking cute this is. We will sanitize it and then we are giving that a try. That is... <laughs> Remember the little flute that you pulled out of the dumpsters? That is... Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Uh, personal papers. We'll get rid of those. Look at this beautiful album. It's old school kind. That is just... That's beautiful. We could use that for a scrapbook or we could sell it. It's like another planner. This one is a 2020, so they must have passed away recently. I know it's a sad thing, guys, but um, we, we've seen it so many times over the years of dumpster diving. But, I mean, you, yeah, you get used to it, I guess. In here, there are some nail clippers, a medical bracelet of some kind, a nail file, and a really cute little case. Christmas. There's a uh, gift bag. We'll add that to our gifting station. There's some hospice. Okay, so this, there you go. That seals the deal. They were on hospice. It was someone, someone passed away and um, their family, well, oh my God. Well, I said it doesn't bother me anymore, but that's not true. I hmm. Your family can't keep all your stuff. I understand that. They can't. And they're overwhelmed often. And maybe, you know, if people were pack rats and there was, you know, 90 years worth of stuff or whatever. I understand that. I do. But this just seems, it just seems wrong to me. That's, that's as far as I'm going to go into that. But yeah, that does say remember me. Recuerda me. Remember me. Well, uh, okay. <clears throat> Moving on. More fabulous costume type jewelry. Gorgeous. Beautiful jewelry. Oh, look at that little pendant. That is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. You can look at it, Reagan. Look, it's got like, um, it's painted, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And this one, look at that. It's got, almost looks like a fish. Kind of. Some shears. Sharpen them up. Um, some kind of funky tweezers. Never seen any like that before. Kind of cool. Nail clippers, nail clippers, nail clippers. We did, huh? A fabulous spoon. Let's see. Well, it says stainless steel. It needs to be polished badly, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I mean, I'll add it to our collectible spoons, our, our collection, but it doesn't say where it's from or anything. That's kind of weird. Nice big clip. That's a fabulous clip. More nail clippers, a pen. A little Santa Claus thing. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is fantastic. It is from SeaWorld. How super is that? A little um, SeaWorld bell. Collectible bell. <laughs> That's so great. I don't collect bells, but I, I wouldn't mind keeping that one. We'll, we'll look it up. We'll look it up. Then over here, we've got... A magnet. Um, one of you, I'm sure, will be able to tell us about this. That's got to be the Rhine, the Rhine River, right? Which isn't that is that Germany? I think that's Germany. I could be wrong. Um, Moselle, Reichsberg, uh, Lieblick, Mosel. Come on, guys. One of you, tell me. But yeah, fabulous magnet. You know, we'll add that to our refrigerator. There is. A little tiny remote, an Apple TV remote. That's cool. Potential resale. More. They were really into fingernail care. 
<laughs> Tons more clippers. That is so funny. A tape. Valerie Dunbar. Um, some keys. Cute little screwdriver. More nail clippers. A little knife. A really cute little pocket knife. I've asked for it. Yeah, Reagan has asked for it and it will be his, but not to just hold on to all the time, but for when we go camping or hiking. And it says Alamo, San Antonio, Texas. I still haven't been there. We'll add that to the list when I come and visit Sylvia diving with purpose. I don't know how far away she is from San Antonio and from the Alamo, but ah, maybe it'll be a road trip. We'll see. Then several of these paper clips that we really like. Those are great. It's just a heavy piece of metal. Measuring tape. Some scissors. More tweezers. An old bank paper. We will shred that. That is it, frugal friends. I do believe that is it. That's all I've got for you today, frugal friends. Thank you so much for coming along. <sighs> I'm so happy. I don't know if any of you noticed at the beginning of the video before you were able to watch it, there were ads. Yes, we have been remonetized. It took about two and a half weeks from when our channel was hacked. But yes, we have earned monetization. That has happened. I am so grateful. Oh my goodness, a shout out to Crystal uh, Diving with R5, a shout out to Cynthia for connecting us in the first place, a shout out to Crystal's friends who have connections with Google, who have been so helpful in helping us to rebuild, a shout out to all of you, to all of the people on YouTube who have shared our story and our situation and gotten the word out there so that our friends could find us just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You guys are wonderful. I love you, I appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.